we specialize in teaching teens on how to do home repair for seniors who are low income and disabled. They get community service hours to graduate, but they must adopt a senior for once a month reassurance phone calls. That becomes their new adopted grandparent. Try to cut the bottom on that, it's exactly the same spot. The other area is housing and counseling. So as we're dealing with things, we're dealing with teens and housing. So that they all complement what we do in this facility. We started in Briar County and we saw a lot of gaps where teens were falling through the cracks and seniors were falling through the cracks. My background as a mortgage broker at that time uh, was helping seniors get the reverse mortgage in order to help save their property through foreclosure. And we saw that there was a greater need that properties had to be repaired first before they could actually be appraised in order to get the reverse mortgage. Well, we had teens who needed service hours and they were just hanging out on the streets. So by bridging that gap and bringing partners together, it spread like a wildfire because now you had kids excited about seeing that property fixed. And they're looking at it and they're like, wow, man, we actually did this. And they enjoyed it. They've been doing the training in other locations or on site. And his idea was to actually put together a training center where teens could come in and we could train them in a facility and along with some classwork and some different things. That is a number eight inch flex. Some of the, the layout of the, of the walls that are put in and the way the electrical outlets are added, the plumbing fixtures are all to train students to know how to do repair work. I wanted to see the, the design of their space to be practical and uh, to, to be a good training facility for them. Here is like a safe I want to be a general contractor, so I'm training for that right now, and it's six months to a year, and then I can go and test out, and I'm getting that training through Mr. Nickens. So come back three quarters of an inch. The hands-on training here is going to be great, because the youth that are working here or learning here will get to see a lot of different things. There'll be electricians involved that show them that trade. There'll be plumbers involved, there'll be tile setters. The way that we have to route the supply. So they'll get to see all those aspects of it, along with some of the painting and some of the interior design. This isn't an opportunity that's, that's out there for everybody. You go into a, another community, you're not going to find a program like this. I assess every file to make sure what is the real reason that you want to come into the program. Because we have the vocational training, we have the uh, financial literacy, all the components that go with that to make you a success. We can't have people coming in thinking that this is a second chance program. This is not what it's designed for. This is to get you up and above from where you are. And then give you one, two foot on each side. We believe in what Franklin is doing, is taking these kids and teaching them a trade turning their life around, giving them opportunity to learn d different trades and to also go out there and help the elderly or help people in need, which, you know, we believe is a great asset to the community. I want to pass it on to kids that were in the same situation that I was in. And I just want, I just want it to grow. We're growing out of this building already and we haven't even started. <laughs>